economy and the weak housing market now, combined with risky mortgages. Of course, a big reason the economy started crumbling in the first place. Last week, a mortgage industry group reported a record 5.4 million American homeowners are they behind on their payments or in foreclosure at the end of last year? And losing the home, of course, a devastating effect on any family, especially the children. John Berman introduces us to a Massachusetts high school student who refused to give up under some very trying circumstances. For the Brockton boxers, it was a chance to finish a perfect season, a chance to play for the state title, a chance to play in the Boston Garden. For 18-year-old forward Rondell Best, it was more. When you have nothing, you have to have something to hope for. The boxers were undefeated this season, but Rondell suffered a huge loss. He lost his home. I've been through so much stress so far, and it's like, I already know how it is to be sad, so I have to find out how it feels to be happy. His family was forced to move out just before foreclosure. For most of the last three months, Rondell lived in a shelter with his mother, his sister, age nine, and his brother, age three. He admits he considered dropping out, even dealing drugs to make ends meet. Why am I in school? Why am I working hard if, if all we have is a show to the show for it? But he didn't quit. He kept playing basketball, kept studying, and school has never been easy for Rondell. He been through some rough times. You can hear his speech impediment, but he was working for more than just himself. He was working for his siblings. If I'm acing me successful, and they'll want to be the same way. They need someone to look up to. In and out of the shelter, Rondell kept up his grades and earned a full scholarship to Newberry College next year. I have to be one of the one of the ones who make it. Rondell's family just made it into an apartment in public housing. Rondell made it to the Boston Garden. His team lost last night in overtime, but that couldn't wipe the smile from Rondell's face. I will never forget this moment, ever. I'll never forget this moment. Champion in things bigger than games. For the World News Webcast, John Berman, ABC News, New York.